Aop and welcome to Callum's Corner. I am not a happy bunny. I am hurt and I am betrayed, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, alright? I've spoken to Gav, my mate, my friend Gavin today, to see if he wants to have a FIFA day, watch a bit of test cricket and stuff. And he said no, because he's hungover. And I'm, I'm, why are you hungover? Thinking he might have gone to the pub without me. I'm a little bit annoyed with him, if I'm honest, at this point already. And no, I should, it's, it's, it's even worse than this, right? He has had a party last night. He's had a gathering at his flat and he hasn't even invited me. And I'm asking him, why have you not invited me? You know, I've just broken up with my girlfriend. I would love the party. You know, I've got moves. I've got grooves. I'm, 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 I'm the life and soul of a bloody party, right? And it transpires that he hasn't invited me, he says, because it's his mates who like to smoke, who like to get high, smoke the bloody reefer. And I've not been invited because I'm clean living. Apparently, I annoy people when I give them a lecture about it. I'm just letting them know the dangers about it. I'm a healthcare professional. It is my bloody responsibility to tell people about it, right? And I've not been invited because I don't do drugs. It is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. It gets worse. It gets worse than this, right? It turns out it transpires that him and Big Nige went to grill stock without me. A couple of weeks ago, they went to grill stock. It's a festival of meat. It's the ultimate bloody betrayal. Disgusting just because I don't want to do drugs. Drugs ruin lives. I'm a living proof of that. Look at me. My life's been ruined. And I'm not even the one who's... I'm not doing drugs. And they're still ruining my life. Oh, it's a really sore subject for me. It's not the first time I've been bloody excluded because I don't want to do drugs. No, it's not. No, right? A few years ago, when my sister, Amy, was still living here, right? I got home from work, right? And she cooked dinner. And I, I, it was a spaghetti bolognese. It was a vegetarian corn one. I didn't rate it. I didn't like it. So I only ate a bit. I was still hungry. So I'm searching around the kitchen. And I find this little lunchbox, one of my sister's ones. And it's full of cookies that she's made. It's great. Homemade cookie. You know, at this point, she was just a vegetarian. She wasn't a vegan. She hadn't gone full-blown insane. So I thought it might be tasty. Ate one. Bought the box into the living room in case I fancied another one. And straight away, my mum and my sister are freaking out. Why are going on about it? It turns out they're bloody space cakes. My sister had made illegal bloody cookies full of cannabinoid products because apparently it might help my mum's arthritis and brought them into my house. I was absolutely disgusted and horrified. I'm a professional caregiver here, right? I can't be doing drugs in my spare time. I'm straight up the stairs, fingers down my throat, trying to pump my own stomach, bringing it all up, right? Came back down to sit down, and I've, I've got tears in my eyes while I've been wretched. I'm in a foul mood. And a pair of them, my mum and my sister, are just sitting there on the sofa, laughing their heads off, telling me I should relax and just go with it. I don't want to be bloody tripping with you. If I want to go on a trip, I'll have a nice weekend on the Isle of Wight, thank you very much. Not some drug fueled bloody orgy or whatever it is they get up to on their bloody drugs. It's disgusting. There's no way I should be penalised for this. Ah, I, I just, I'm sitting here now like bloody, Billy bloody no mates, because I don't want to do drugs. No friends. No friends. I'm just sitting here on a bloody Saturday afternoon. It will all change next week when I release my single and everyone hears it. Everyone's going to want to be my bloody mate then. And I tell you what, I won't care. I won't even care. I won't even let them be my mate. I'm not having a good day.